Good morning, and welcome to the Grand Awards Ceremony, the culmination of the Regeneron International Science and Engineering Fair. And now please welcome once again your host, Barb Baker. Good morning, good morning. Wow, hello everyone. What a week you have all had, right? Whoa. Well, here we are at Regeneron ISEF Grand Award Ceremonies. Before we begin, I have something for each of you to think about. Whether your work is recognized with an award today or not, each and every finalist participating in ISEF this year has already won. You have persevered with your studies and research. Oh. You have persevered with your studies and research and shown tremendous grit in the face of insurmountable odds. You have participated in the largest pre-college science competition in the world. With that in mind, I'd like to ask all of our Regeneron ISF finalists to please stand so we can take a moment to honor you. Very well done. Now, it is my pleasure to welcome back the President and CEO of Society for Science and Executive Publisher of Science News, Maya Ejmera. Thank you, Barb. This has been such an exciting week. Did you have a good time here in Dallas? I'm so happy that we were able to come together this year. One of the things that makes ISAF so special is its ability to bring together so many bright minds under one roof. The brain power in this room right now is awe-inspiring. Even at your age, you are already finding solutions to the world's most intractable problems. Among you, I see future innovators, leaders, and trailblazers. No matter what happens today, know that by being here, you are already winners. Repeat after me, we are winners. We are winners. I didn't hear you. Say it again. We are winners. Thank you. You are, you are. Woo, give a big round of applause. As we bring an amazing week to a close, I want to be the first to welcome you to the ISEF alumni family. The ISEF community is a select group of individuals who've gone on to do great things. So congratulations to all of you, our impressive finalists. I hope that this experience has inspired you to continue to pursue your interests with persistence, determination, and grit. For you, this is only the beginning, and I cannot wait to see what you accomplish next. As I close, I want to take the opportunity to thank everyone who helped make this week possible. Please join me in thanking all the judges, interpreters, and volunteers for their hard work and support throughout ISEF. Let's give them a big round of applause. Special thanks to the Local Arrangements Committee who worked diligently to make sure this week went off smoothly. Another round of applause. I would also like to thank the families, the science fair directors, teachers, and mentors whose dedication made it possible for you to be here today. When you leave Dallas today, promise me I want you to thank your community for their tremendous support throughout your science and engineering journey. So let us have a big round of applause for them.
and thank you to everyone who made this week a success. Lastly, I want to thank Regeneron and our other wonderful sponsors for their commitment to ISAF. On behalf of the Society for Science, congratulations, thank you, and I hope to see many of you next year in Los Angeles, California for Regeneron ISAF 2024. Thank you, Maya, and thank you again to the entire Society for Science team for their tireless work. Next, we are pleased to share a special message from one of the world's preeminent authorities on algorithms for network applications in cybersecurity, Dr. Tom Layton of Akamai. The Akamai Foundation is our lead technology sponsor. As co-founder and chief executive officer of Akamai, Dr. Layton is also a member of the Society's Board of Trustees. He is a 1972 and 1973 alumnus of the International Science and Engineering Fair, and we are delighted to welcome him back to ISIF to share his message. Hello, my name is Tom Layton, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Akamai Technologies. You probably haven't heard of Akamai, but you use us every day when you go online. At Akamai, we use math and algorithms to deliver a large fraction of the content on the internet. When you use a banking app, buy something online, watch a video, or play a game, there's a very good chance that your device is connecting to an Akamai server nearby to make sure that your experience is fast, reliable, and secure. We've been doing this for 25 years now, but today I'd like to go even farther back in time all the way back to 50 years ago, to 1972 and 1973, when I was sitting where you are now as a student at ISEF. That was a really long time ago, long before you were born, and probably even before many of your parents were born. The dinosaurs weren't still roaming around then, but this was before scientists and engineers such as yourselves had invented cell phones, iPads, TikTok, or even the internet. There were a few computers back then, but they weren't in the same league as what we have today. The UNIVAC 1108 that I was fortunate enough to have had access to for my ISEF project filled the basement of a large building, and it took a week to do what a laptop can do in milliseconds today. Clearly, lots has changed since I was sitting where you are now. But there's one thing that hasn't changed. And that's the excitement and the importance of scientific discovery. You may not realize it yet, but the fact that you're at ISEF means that you're among those who will make the critical advances in science and engineering over the coming decades, and that you'll be the ones to change our world for the better. Through your continued hard work and collaboration with your colleagues, some of whom you're getting to know this week at ISEF, You'll be the scientists and engineers who tackle climate change, cure cancer and other horrific diseases, advance AI and do it safely, address world hunger, and maybe even cure aging. I know this because I've seen your predecessors make amazing technical breakthroughs over the last 50 years that have advanced our world to where it is today. Our world is still facing many challenges, and we need you, your ideas, your energy, your passion, and your desire to make a difference. So I hope that your experience this week inspires you to pursue your dreams and keep innovating. After all, 50 years from now, you might be the one to look back and remember what a fun and exciting event this was, and how it was a terrific way to start a technical career that turned out to be the adventure of a lifetime and to have made the world a better place for billions of people. Congratulations and good luck. Thank you, Dr. Layton. Now, a few mentions prior to getting started. We are here today to recognize the grand award winners of Regeneron ISF 2023. Finalists are judged on their creative ability, scientific thought, as well as the thoroughness, skill, and clarity shown in their projects. 
Category awards are presented for fourth, third, second, and first place. We will proceed in category order, presenting fourth, third, and second place winners together within their discipline. First place awards will be presented separately. The number of awards presented for each category is proportional to the number of projects entered. Team projects are judged and awarded within their scientific category, and the award is split equally among team members. The experiential awards will follow, and the top awards will conclude today's program. Please join us on stage when your name is called and remain until dismissed. Members of the audience, honored guests and finalists, the time has come. So let's get started with the category awards. Fourth place winners will receive an award of $500. Third place winners receive an award of $1,000. And second place winners will receive an award of $2,000. To help present these awards, we are honored to be joined by several very special guests from our category sponsors. We begin with the animal sciences category. To present on behalf of the Society for Science, please welcome Chief Program Officer, Michelle Glidden. In the category of Animal Sciences, the fourth place award winners are from New Taipei City, Chinese Taipei, Jin Hang Yen. From Juneau, Alaska, Elizabeth Shao de Zha Jali. From Falls Church, Virginia, Elisabetta Igorevna Bliss. From Sejong, South Korea, Min Seo Kim and Su Jin Kim. From Palo Alto, California, Vince Wu. From Shanghai, China, Yong Si Liang. The third place award winners are from Orlando, Florida, Atria Manaswi. From San Ramon, California, Charise Zhu. From Valley Stream, New York, Ibrahim Kadri. From Houston, Texas, Melina Kumar. From Bangkok, Thailand, Sonia Pat Akarajirawat and Tanakon Shalvan Asmith. The second place award winners are from Imperatriz Brazil, Gustavo Bottega Serra. From Monte Vista, Colorado, Marissa Liliana Martinez. From Wong Chiang Grai, Thailand, Panatas Chai Prakam, Kanyarin Sriva Chai, and Thanawit Nam Jai Di. Society for Science is pleased to present the Animal Sciences category. This discipline is essential to our understanding of not only individual species, but also the context of our world's inhabitants as a whole, and the myriad of interactions amongst those species. the Society for Science and congratulations to all our winners in the Animal Sciences category.
Now we continue with the behavioral and social sciences presented by Society for Science. Representing the society, welcome clinical psychology professor at SMU, Dr. Alicia Murray. In the category of behavioral and social sciences, the fourth place award winners are from Plainview, New York, Elif Koch. From Conifer, Colorado, Evelyn Patricia Sievers. From Makkah, Saudi Arabia, Hanadi Hassan Araif. From St. James, New York, Holy Mary Zahir. From San Jose, California, Ching Ching Liang and Alec Tsang. From Redmond, Washington, Sachi Sharma. The third place award winners are from Bethlehem, Palestine, Anas Saud Abu Amar and Ayam Mohammed Clay. From East Amherst, New York, Grant Wang. From Taipei, Chinese Taipei, Pai Yun Chen. From Jacksonville, Florida, Sarah Chayun Park. From Tagazik, Egypt, Shadnu and Samanu. The second place award winners are from Bronx, New York, Asuka Koda. From the Woodlands, Texas, Pranav Somani. From Hong Song, South Korea, Yurim Jin. Presented by the Society, this discipline encompasses the science and study of the thought processes and behavior of humans and other animals, as well as their interactions with the environment. The study of these interactions provides insight and understanding of how all of Earth's inhabitants exist together on our planet. Congratulations to you all and thanks again to the Society for Science. Next, the biochemistry category presented by Regeneron. To present the awards, welcome postdoctoral fellow at Regeneron, Aaron Jones. In the category of biochemistry, the fourth place award winners are 
from Durham, North Carolina, David Nam Kim. From Fresno, California, Ava Yeho Chen. From Prairie Village, Kansas, Mia Stamos. From Little Rock, Arkansas, Siddharth Sridharan. The third place award winners are from Pago Pago, American Samoa, Emily Ryoyi Chen. From Balikasir, Turkey, Asli Eche Yilmaz and Azra Demir Kapila. From Arlington, Virginia, Olivia Grace Bartram. The second place award winners are from Raipur, India, Ishan Chudhari and Aditya Kumar Chia. From Cedar Park, Texas, Rajvi Rakesh Babaria and Halle Madison Compuesto. Regeneron is a leading biotechnology company using the power of science to bring new medicines to patients in need. Through their commitment to science education and STEM outreach, Regeneron is proud to support and nurture the next generation of scientific innovators at ICEF as they pursue their careers in STEM. Congratulations to all our winners and thank you Regeneron. The Biomedical and Health Sciences category is next, also presented by Regeneron. Here to present, welcome 1985 and 1986 ICEF alum and Regeneron's Global Development Scientific Council Chair, Asha Pillai. In the category of Biomedical and Health Sciences, the fourth place award winners are from Honolulu, Hawaii, Amara Kanolani Martin. From Honolulu, Hawaii, Christian James Kalamar Roy. From Hackensack, New Jersey, Harika Sri Koduru. From Brino, Czech Republic, Karolina Cherakova. From Columbus, Mississippi, Madison Grace Eccles. From Bellevue, Washington, Rohak Chen. From Shaker Heights, Ohio, Sami Yukta Krishna Iya.
The third place award winners are from San Antonio, Texas, Amber Rebecca Elizalda. From Fort Myers, Florida, Aum Jekumar Drew. From Binghamton, New York, West Palm Beach, Florida, and Riviera Beach, Florida, Ethan Bausia, Dylan Gwynn, and Lucas Matthew Abraham. From Pontevedra, Florida, Catherine Alexandra Shapiro. From Shreveport, Louisiana, Raj Lechterman. The second place award winners are from Chandler, Arizona, Bawachan Fan. From Delray Beach, Florida, Maya Mohanty. From Dublin, California, Samuel Wu. From Daman, Saudi Arabia, Sarah Al Shubal. With inspiring scientific and patient collaborations and a legacy of cutting-edge homegrown innovation, Regeneron is committed to improving the lives of people with serious diseases by discovering new treatments for unmet medical needs. By fostering the best and brightest future scientists at ISEF, they are proud to carry on this legacy and advance the future of scientific innovation. Congratulations and thanks again to Regeneron. Now we continue with the biomedical engineering presented by Society for Science. To help us recognize the winners, we are delighted to be joined by Associate Professor, Material Science and Engineering and Mechanical Engineering at UT Dallas, Walter Voigt. In the category of Biomedical Engineering, the fourth place award winners are from Bentonville, Arkansas, Chandra Kiran Kushik Suda. From Waterloo, Canada, Cindy Cheng. From the Villages, Florida, Hannah Grace Kennedy. From Chicago, Illinois, Maya Joshi. From Aman Jordan, Rashid Abdullah, Salem Alhinti, and Rayan Teb. From Portland, Oregon, Rishab Kumar Chen. From Bentonville, Arkansas, Rohan Singh. From Vancouver, Canada, Tara Tianru Tsan. From Pottstown, Pennsylvania, Zeshen Chen.
The third place award winners are from Cary, North Carolina, Abhinav Goram and Ethan Sood. From Poolsville, Maryland, Daniel Matthew. From Hebron, Palestine, Isra Shoapka. From Jericho, New York, Natalia Palavan. From Durham, North Carolina, Naveen Ramasamy. From Folsom, California, Rishab Villa Ambavaneka. From Shandiga, India, Shaurya Costa. The second place award winners are from Hubertus, Wisconsin, Aryan Kaluvia. From Palo Alto, California, Daniel Edison Siegel. From Bakersfield, California, Hachasal Singe Bra. From Iamsville, Maryland, Kartik Mutukumar. Pranav Sristi and Tarun Malavasan. From Al Koba, Saudi Arabia, Wesam Fad Al Gurashi. Biomedical engineering is an interdisciplinary field that combines biological sciences and engineering, applying engineering principles and materials to medicine and healthcare. Covering a wide range of applications from imaging and prosthetics to implantable drug delivery systems and injectable nanorobots, the field aims to improve health and longevity. Congratulations to all our winners and thank you to the Society for Science. Our next category is Cellular and Molecular Biology, presented by Regeneron. Please welcome Isaac Alum from 2009 to 2010 and Regeneron scientist Lola Yu. In the category of Cellular and Molecular Biology, the fourth place award winners are from Sebring, Florida, Angela Huang. From Flower Mound, Texas, Harsh Singe. From Shaker Heights, Ohio, Ishita Koparapu. From Jericho, New York, Lucas Sher. From Plano, Texas, Zera Jaffery. From Chicago, Illinois, Suki Shao.
The third place award winners are from Palos Verdes Estates, California, Anna Petty Petedi, Lena Perestegi, and Daniel Perestegi. From Little Rock, Arkansas, Bahavana Suritalan. From Artsley, New York, Haley Finkelstein. From Milburn, New Jersey, Jacob Winnick. From Bronx, New York, Keila Almeida Morgan. The second place award winners are from Portland, Oregon, Ekanch Metal. From Honolulu, Hawaii, Ming Hao Alex Lee. From San Jose, California, Reshma Kozaraju. By harnessing the power of STEM, Regeneron has invented innovative technologies that dramatically accelerate the development of new medicines and treatments. They see the same power to change the world in every ICEF finalist and are proud to sponsor the cellular and molecular biology category. Congratulations to the winners and thanks to Regeneron. Now we can continue with the chemistry category presented by Beale Bank. Presenting the awards, welcome Senior Vice President of Corporate Communications and Chief Content Officer, Jim Chambliss. In the category of chemistry, the fourth place award winners are from Chesterfield, Missouri, Alice Wang Lu. From Georgetown, Malaysia, Elaine Koe, Si Han Ku, and Samuel Wen Chaun Lee. From Louisville, Kentucky, Justin Hung. From Georgetown, Malaysia, Lucas John Teo and Wayne Ninj. From Claremont, California, Sehun Kang and Se Hao Tsang. From Southport, Australia, Tin Tran. From Skokie, Illinois, Sara Tsulfika Nathani. The third place award winners are from Eastvale, California, Angelina Yang. From Daegu, South Korea, Chun Hyok Park, Jin Song Kim, 
and Hyung Suk Lee. From Raudond, Paris, Lithuania, Maida Surdokate. From Hyderabad, India, Salvesh Prabhu. From Cedar City, Utah, Tatum Oakden Stratton. The second place award winners are from Fremont, California, Aditi Bharat Waj Kiran. From Al Hofuf, Saudi Arabia, Fatima Abdullah Alafaj. From Murraysville, Pennsylvania, Grace Lee Wang. From Silver Spring, Maryland, Julia Artemis Gelfond. Building upon its long history of promoting academic excellence in STEM education, Beale Bank is proud to present the chemistry category at ISEF. By encouraging science fair competitors to think for themselves, develop and test their own ideas, and most importantly, keep asking questions, Beale Bank seeks to inspire young scientists and engineers to solve long unanswered questions and develop unprecedented breakthroughs that benefit all humankind. Congratulations to all ICEF competitors for your successes to date. Congratula congratulations to the winners and thanks to B.O. Bank. Next, the Computational Biology and Bioinformatics category presented by Regeneron. Presenting the awards, welcome Regeneron's Director of Statistical G Genetics, Adam Locke. In the category of Computational Biology and Bioinformatics, the fourth place award winners are from Great Neck, New York, Amit Saha. From Kirkland, Washington, Andy Yi. From Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Arvin Seshan. From Rayong, Thailand, Kitifat Pungarun Otai. Martin Kosit Chutema and Sean Na Patalong. From Boulder, Colorado, Margaret Madeline Arthur. From Tarrytown, New York, Noah Naga. From New Delhi, India, Shashvat Rastogi and Vivasvat Rastogi. From Silver Spring, Maryland, Sotish Madhapur Swain. The third place award winners are from Chandler, Arizona, Ariana Fedus Rahman. From Hanoi, Vietnam, Bing Chiang Bin Nguyen and Ti Ma An Nguyen. 
from Fauchia, Texas, Janak Prasha and Jagat Prasha. From Marietta, Georgia, Misha Nilesh Patel. From Beverly Hills, Michigan, Vikram Srinivas Godla. From Redmond, Washington, Yui Ding. The second place award winners are from San Diego, California, Agastya Sritaran. From Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Aidan Wang. From Cupertino, California, Roshni Parulekka Martins. From Malmo, Sweden, Yasma Naji Estaiti. Regeneron believes in doing well by doing good. By exposing young minds to the power of science, equipping students with scientific skills, and elevating the best and brightest young scientists and engineers at ISEF, they are investing in the collective future of us all. Thanks Regeneron and congratulations winners. Our next category is Earth and Environmental Sciences, presented by the National Geographic Society. Here to present the awards, welcome Director of Strategic Partnerships, Carly Lovern. In the category of Earth and Environmental Sciences, the fourth place award winners are from Sarnia, Canada, Annabelle Maria Rayson. From Chandler, Arizona, Chloe Fayang Sam. From Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, Dahai Chuda. From Donaldson, Iowa, Jacob Thomas Hall. From Honolulu, Hawaii, Madison Rico Hilani Murata. From Cary, North Carolina, Rayanch Bal. From Hong Kong, China, Hong Kong Special Administrative Region, Shanshan Lin, Yuk Tong Rita San, and Shi Yao Wai. From Pinecrest, Florida, Sunny Yu. From Harare, Zimbabwe, Tinevimbu Musingadi. The third place award winners are from Chapin, South Carolina, Carolyn Denise Reichener. From Hong Song, South Korea, Dahin Lee and Yu Yun Choi. 
from Hopkinton, Massachusetts, Dylan Nyan Streak, Disha Mudenor, and Riley Jane Blair. From Rio Rancho, New Mexico, Eliana Kai Juarez. From Warsaw, Poland, Karolina Markiewicz and Olivia Gwaska. From Chicago, Illinois, Nikita Agraval. From Taipei, Chinese Taipei, Chu Yun Ko. The second place award winners are from Denton, Texas, Anish Gol and Aditya Singaria Konda. From Al Jubail, Saudi Arabia, Dima Mohammed Marbal. From Lad Lung Cape, Thailand, Jirapun Sengong Ban, Narufat Yajai, and Promphia Ya. Kati Yawong. From Fort Myers, Florida, Morgan Taylor Barnes. From West Lynn, Oregon, Umar Aditi Grover and Melinda Lynn. The National Geographic Society uses the power of science, exploration, education, and storytelling to illuminate and protect the wonder of our world. National Geographic Society is where education meets exploration, and they are thrilled to continue their sponsorship of the Earth and Environmental Sciences category. Congratulations and thank you to the National Geographic Society. Next is the Embedded Systems category, presented by Microsoft. Presenting the awards, please give a warm ISIP welcome to Community Engagement Manager at Microsoft, Jonathan Childress. In the category of Embedded Systems, the fourth place award winners are from Round Rock, Texas, Amisha Sao. From Daegu, South Korea, Che Won Hu, Won Dong Lee, and Song Bin Bian. From the Woodlands, Texas, Inu Beck and Rohit Kartik Pilutla. From Swanee, Georgia, Madhav Skulati and Vinit Sendiraj. From Toronto, Canada, Thomas Tiru Yang. The third place award winners are from Jaroslaw, Poland, Philip Wojcic Picos. From Hangzhou, China, Herong Huang. From Pardubici, Czech Republic, Matej Neumann. 
from Palo Alto, California, Roy Gross. The second place award winners are from Obura, Egypt, Mohammed Hamada Fami and Youssef Hassan Ramadan. From Denton, Texas, Sarang Girl. Microsoft believes that all students deserve equitable access to education, no matter where they live or how they learn. By working at local, national, and global levels to promote access to education and computer science, Microsoft seeks to ensure all young people have access to the skills, technology, and opportunity to thrive in today's connected world. They are proud to support the Embedded Systems category at ISEF and foster the next generation of scientists and engineers. Thanks to Microsoft and congratulations winners. Now, we continue with the Energy, Sustainable Materials, and Design category. To present on behalf of Siemens Energy, please welcome Managing Director of Controls and Digitalization, Pratyush Nog. In the category of Energy, Sustainable Materials, and Design, the fourth place award winners are from Little Rock, Arkansas, Ahmed Goha Alam. From Dublin, California, Anwesha Ghosh. From Manhasset, New York, Emily Gloria Theodosopoulos. From Singapore, Singapore, Ivan Joel Wen Yu. From the Woodlands, Texas, Ricardo Victorio. From Pelham, New York, Sienna Marie Giuseppe. From Pendane, India, Benai Kumar Varada and Mohan Dorga Manikanta Nalilia. The third place award winners are from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, Fajir Abdul Mahid Al Kulyafi. From Mason, Ohio, Johan De Messi. From Mountain House, California, Jordan Prawira. From Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, Rataj Abdurrahman Al Sulami. From Aden Prairie, Minnesota, Yash Dagade.
The second place award winners are from Dharan, Saudi Arabia, Latifa Hesham Al Gahannam. From Dharan, Saudi Arabia, Leyen Ahmed Al Mulhim. From Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, Taif Al Hedmi. Siemens Energy, with a global team across 90 countries, is committed to making sustainable, reliable, and affordable energy possible. Innovative technologies, extensive experience, and ambitious strategies to decarbonize global energy systems are central to their efforts to be the partner and driver of the energy transition. Siemens Energy is proud to support ISEF and empower the STEM innovators of tomorrow. Congratulations to the winners and thanks to Siemens Energy. Presented by Howmet Aerospace Foundation, the next category is Engineering Technology, Statics, and Dynamics. Here to recognize our winners, welcome Global Product Integrity Manager, Jeskarat Sohi. In the category of Engineering Technology, Statics, and Dynamics, the fourth place award winners are from Bremen, Germany, Hendrik Ridder. From the Woodlands, Texas, Henry Fernando Aceves and Donovan Jose Burke. From Shanghai, China, Chiai Shi. From Macau, China, Macau Special Administrative Region, Lok Yao Lao. From Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, Maria Kunzani. From Fridley, Minnesota, Mumina Niha Mohammed. From Hilo, Hawaii, Paul Watson Barricat. From Chattanooga, Tennessee, Si Young Michael Shing. The third place award winners are from Salt Lake City, Utah, Aidan Shah Gandhi, Evan Skyler Weinstein, and Ellie Daniel Hatton. From Greenwood Village, Colorado, Ursel Ozan Serdar. From Great Mills, Maryland, Evan Michael Walsh. From Little Rock, Arkansas, Joshua Peter McNeil. From Alexandria, Virginia, Mihika Amit Dusad and Aryaman Kana. From Beijing, China, Xiao Lu.
The second place award winners are from Hangzhou, China, Han Wang. From Kaohsiung, Chinese Taipei, Yo Ya Chen. From Olympia, Washington, Kevin Shen. From Louisville, Kentucky, Richard Lian. Helmet Aerospace is a global leader in engineered metal products that are transforming the aerospace and transportation industries. Its legacy of responsible corporate citizenship is anchored by Helmet Aerospace Foundation, a proud supporter of ISEF and STEM outreach programs around the world. Congratulations and thank you to the Helmet Aerospace Foundation. Now we continue with the environmental engineering category presented by Jacobs. We are pleased to be joined by community relations and engagement lead at Jacobs, Manuel Calderon. In the category of environmental engineering, the fourth place award winners are from Naples, Florida, Amaya Jennifer Echeverry. From Jericho, New York, Emily Kim. From Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, Maria Ghalib Al Gamandi. From Busha, Oman, Maryam Wahab Al Rabi and Sheta Abdul Salam Al Karusi. From Doha, Qatar, Mohammed Khaled Al Hajri and Mohammed Youssef Al Jaber. From Greenwich, Connecticut, Naomi Park. From Titusville, Florida, Robert Sralak. From Carmel, Indiana, Rohan Prakash Bozali. From Louisville, Kentucky, Sarah Chasmawala and Valerie Nicole Moorman. From Nanjing, China, Xia Ding. The third place award winners are from Portland, Oregon, Alan Pejun Ma. From Armonk, New York, Chloe Spencer Banstein. From Los Alamos, New Mexico, Daniel Kim. From Honolulu, Hawaii, Kian Kenneth Francisco Sanchez. From Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, Leanne Mohammed Nowali. From Merritt Island, Florida, Sharanya Natarajan. From Sammamish, Washington, Vedant Srinivas.
The second place award winners are from Hankinson, North Dakota, Gavin Donald Kratcher. From Las Cruces, New Mexico, Hayu Bradley Wang. From Fremont, California, Kenesha Garg. From San Diego, California, Sanjana Kumar. From San Jose, California, Sasha Masson. Jacobs is challenging today to reinvent tomorrow by solving the world's most critical problems for thriving cities, resilient environments, mission critical outcomes, operational advancement, scientific discovery, and cutting edge manufacturing to create a tomorrow of which we can all be proud. Jacobs recognizes the role we all play in developing a sustainable future and is proud to celebrate ISEF students who are creating it. Thank you, Jacobs, and congratulations, winners. Material Science is our next category, presented by the Howmet Aerospace Foundation. We are pleased to welcome Engineering Manager, R&D Materials Technology, Sesh Tagmirish Kandala. In the category of Material Science, the fourth place award winners are from Johns Creek, Georgia, Anika Joshi. From Singapore, Singapore, Georgia Ang and Trisha Tan. From Katka, Slovakia, Ludmila Krasnovska. From Singapore, Singapore, Rutong Bai. From Dharan, Saudi Arabia, Tahani Adel Ahmed. From Komagoma, Japan, Yuri Minura and Otoa Mitsuyoshi. The third place award winners are from Al Hassa, Saudi Arabia, Abir Ali Al Youssef. From Melbourne, New Jersey, Andy Chu. From Portland, Oregon, Autri Aparajita Das. From Sebrang, Peru Utara, Malaysia. Mohamed Faiz Ikwan Ismail, Nursi Aziliana Siadzlin Mohamed Aslin, and Noor Anisha MD Rodi. From the Woodlands, Texas, Sohi Sanjay Patel.
The second place award winners are from Marion, Massachusetts, Hiyui Wen. From Louisville, Kentucky, Valap Ramesh. From Syosset, New York, Vincent W. Huang. As part of their efforts to educate and inspire tomorrow's scientists, engineers, and technical experts, HowMet Aerospace Foundation focuses on STEM outreach, technical education, and workforce development initiatives, with an emphasis on increased access to STEM fields for underrepresented individuals. Congratulations and thanks to the HowMet Aerospace Foundation. Now, let's continue with the mathematics category, presented by the Akamai Foundation. To recognize the winners, we are joined by SVP and General Manager of Application Security at Akamai, Rupesh Chokshi. In the category of mathematics, the fourth place award winners are from Dublin Island, Aditya Kumar and Aditya Joshi. From Ocala, Florida, Camille Aguilera Dumas. From Denton, Texas, Jayanth Narishma Pandit, Ethan Aditya Rebello and Zachary Christopher Lee. From Sugarland, Texas, Rich Wang. From Rancho Cucamonga, California, Sahed Siddiqui. The third place award winners are from Glen Allen, Virginia, Anushka Pendial. From Taipei City, Chinese Taipei, Da Fu Chu. From Singapore, Singapore, Gilim Kang. From Charlotte, North Carolina, Yunjia Kwan. The second place award winners are from Niceville, Florida, Aurora Mendenhall. From Princeton, New Jersey, Nicholas David Hagedorn. The Akamai Foundation is fueled by their belief in the wonderful possibilities for the future and is dedicated to encouraging the next generation of technology innovators by supporting STEM education with a focus on the pursuit of excellence in mathematics. Akamai Foundation is proud to support ICEF by inspiring students to embrace math and to prepare for success in college and in their professional lives. Thank you Akamai and congratulations winners. Thank you. 
Now, the microbiology category presented by the Robert I. Shatner Foundation. Joining us, please welcome Treasurer Robert H. Sievers. In the category of microbiology, the fourth place award winners are from Springdale, Maryland, Ariana Ashlyn Buller Jarrett. From Delray Beach, Florida, Chloe Barreto Massad. From Trevette, Maine, Emma Markovich. From Rostock, Germany, Joshua Zena, Dasha Dobrowski, and Emil August Botezatu. From Garden City, New York, Julia Shesheva. From Calle, Puerto Rico, Lisa Menelis Alicea Lopez. From Taishou, China, Yiming Shu. The third place award winners are from Singapore, Singapore, Jamie Wen. From San Diego, California, Cara Fan. From Syracuse, Utah, Thanaphone Glenn Shields. From Lahore, Pakistan, Uma Sohai Mare. From Stanford, Connecticut, Yuri Sandmeyer. The second place award winners are from Lubbock, Texas, Calvin Kirtley Harold Carpenter. From Springfield, Massachusetts, Elizabeth Sophia Hanichak. From Dollstown, Pennsylvania, Maryam Abdel Azim. From Taizhou, China, Xuyang Wu. The Robert I. Shatner Foundation supports institutions and organizations that provide opportunities to individuals striving to make their lives better through education. Their overriding goal is simple and straightforward, to make grants where they will do the most good and where the gifts will make a real difference. The Foundation is proud to support ISAF and nurture tomorrow's leaders in science and technology. Congratulations and thanks to the Robert I. Shatner Foundation. Now we continue with the physics and astronomy category presented by the Richard F. Karras Charitable Trust II. Presenting on their behalf, welcome Deadman Family Distinguished Professor in the Department of Physics at SMU, Frederick Olness.
In the category of Physics and Astronomy, the fourth place award winners are from Roskilde, Denmark, Anders Lendalholm and Theodor Anton Silvaga. From Louisville, Kentucky, Anurute Srinivasan. From Harrisonburg, Virginia, Anish Sakim Arathe. From Dix Hills, New York, Ellis Eisenberg. From Corvallis, Oregon, Leon Garcia. From Kellyville, Australia, Olivia Silcock. From Pelham, New York, Robbie Shepard. The third place award winners are from Charlotte, North Carolina, and Kit Biswas. From Fredericia, Denmark, Emma Weiss Nielsen. From Bowling Green, Kentucky, Gabrielle Aiden Nowaski. From Rayong, Thailand, Jinjuta Paripurana, Pavarit. Fanny Kuchul and Amanda Panumonwati. From Sapporo, Japan, Shothai Tanaka. The second place award winners are from Osaka, Japan, Hannah Blundell. From Pittsford, New York, Maureen Sang. From Ossining, New York, Sarah Jean Gardner. From Singapore, Singapore, Jin Ru Lee. The Richard F. Karras Charitable Trust II is proud to support ISAF by sponsoring the category of physics and astronomy. The realm of these disciplines is broad, and together they form the basis of the grand theories explaining the evolution of stars, galaxies, and the universe. Thanks to the Richard F. Karras Charitable Trust II, and congratulations to the winners. Our next awards are for the category of Plant Sciences. Once again, to present on behalf of the Society for Science, please welcome Michelle Glidden. In the category of Plant Sciences, the fourth place award winners are from Roswell, New Mexico, Evan Daniel Kennedy. Isaac Jaden Armenta Perez and Lucas Tang. From the Woodlands, Texas, Felix Yishu Li and Anshul Ashesh Desai. From Bad Munster Eiffel, Germany, Rufus Wegener. From Satellite Beach, Florida, Samantha Ariel Cohen Pinsky. 
from Johns Creek, Georgia, Swati Mugundu Pradeep and Chinmaya Saran. From Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, Yazan Aflaye. The third place award winners are from Hot Springs, Arkansas, Amanda Navarro and Cherise Jean. From Plantation, Florida, Jacob Noah Federici. From San Diego, California, Kate Shu. From Alcoba, Saudi Arabia, Leyan Al Malki. From Al Hofuf, Saudi Arabia, Noor Yusuf Al Hamad. The second place award winners are from Prague, Czech Republic, Adela Urova. From Stewart, Florida, Niria Goyal. From Plano, Texas, Prisha Spart. Utilizing the studies of plants and how they live, this discipline encompasses the structure, physiology, and classification of plant species, as well as the study of organisms and their evolutionary relationships. The scientific curiosity and examination of plant sciences illustrates our drive as humans to more fully understand the complex world in which we live. Congratulations winners and many thanks to the Society for Science. Now we continue with the Robotics and Intelligent Machines presented by Regeneron. To help recognize the winners, we are honored to welcome Senior Manager of Clinical Informatics at Regeneron, Amelia Averett. In the category of Robotics and Intelligent Machines, the fourth place award winners are from Mississauga, Canada, Aditya Dewan. From Irmo, South Carolina, Andy L. Yang. From Al Kobar, Saudi Arabia, Bandar Mahmoud Al Brahim. From Beijing, China, Gongo Sun. From Shanghai, China, Yasmin Siyu Lu. From Carbondale, Illinois, Michelle Wang. From San Marcos, California, Nicholas Usher and Logan Mars Brown. From St. Catharines, Canada, Sichuan Lee.
The third place award winners are from Erfurt, Germany, Daniel Friedrich Semann, Richard Ulzen and Albert Dehner. From Istanbul, Turkey, Irem Duran, Ibrahim Utku Derman and Kerem Aslan. From Rolling Hills Estates, California, Justin Liu. From Swanee, Georgia, Krish Saxena. From Lexington, Massachusetts, Nagamitesh Nagamorali. From Alexandria, Virginia, Rohan Kalhasti. The second place award winners are from Little Rock, Arkansas, Anu Ia. From Houston, Texas, Ayan Javai Duka, London Patrick Doughty, and Cayman Antonio Moreno Erla. From Portland, Oregon, Ishan Alualia. From Fort Washington, Pennsylvania, Samuel Wang. Regeneron believes when we live in a world where scientists and engineers are the heroes, all of society wins. By creating opportunities that spark interest in all STEM fields, they seek to motivate, empower, and inspire budding scientists and engineers. Regeneron is proud to be a company that invests in elevating science and society and supporting young minds on their journey from scientific spark to future innovation. Thank you, Regeneron, and congratulations, winners. Presented by Microsoft, the system software category is next. Presenting the awards, we are honored to be joined by Community Engagement Manager, Jonathan Childress. In the category of system software, the fourth place award winners are from Bellevue, Washington, Kosha Upatye. From Shanghai, China, Leo Gu. From Luxembourg City, Luxembourg, Maxime Buck. From Nabolus, Palestine, Mesk Abdal Salam. From Belfast, United Kingdom, Michael Owen McMahon. From Presov, Slovakia, Vanessa Siskova and Vanessa Smolakova. The third place award winners are from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Landon Penn Coloresi.
from Richmond, Texas, Rohan, Daria, and Vedit Mehta. From Marietta, Georgia, Rohan Kalia. From Morristown, New Jersey, Sonia Leo. The second place award winners are from Yorktown Heights, New York, Eric Ruick Song. From Alexandria, Virginia, Xin Yang Chong. From Portland, Oregon, Taha Khan. Microsoft is committed to fostering imaginative, innovative, and creative thinking about the incredible possibilities ahead with harnessing STEM to make the world a better place. They are powered by the vision of transforming ideas into reality, to create systems and services that can change the world in fabulous ways. Microsoft is excited to support ICEF by nurturing young talent, building community, and bolstering upcoming scientist sense of can-do. Congratulations, and thank you, Microsoft, for supporting ICEF students. Next, our final category, Translational Medical Science presented by Regeneron. On their behalf, please welcome Director of Research, Pharmacokinetics at Regeneron, and longtime ISIF judge, Pamela Kruger. In the category of Translational Medical Science, the fourth place award winners are from Salt Lake City, Utah, Audrey Yimin Su. From Jersey City, New Jersey, Itchman Suhail. From Little Rock, Arkansas, Kitika Atluri. From Wang Shang Mai, Thailand, Kai Wakla Sroi Kabla Kai, Napashol Intapan, and Kritapa Trakulpwa. From Hilo, Hawaii, Rachel Z. Tao. From Corpus Christi, Texas, Shamada Palakurti. From Hot Springs, Arkansas, Sri Ram Tripathi. From Scottsdale, Arizona, Siddharth Ada. From West Lafayette, Indiana, Seng Chi Lee. The third place award winners are from Redmond, Washington, Ani Atikari. From Kamis Mushayet, Saudi Arabia, Taris Aliami. From Villanova, Pennsylvania, Grace S. Jacobi. From Hillsborough, California, Katie Sun. 
From Irvington, New York, Maxwell Ma. From Delray Beach, Florida, Sruti Sai Bala Subramanian. From Raipur, India, Vanshika Deganya and Sumaya Agrawal. The second place award winners are from San Jose, California, Ella Selena Lan. From Armonk, New York, Samantha Maya Milovic. From Donggu, South Korea, Seyon Lee. From San Jose, California, Snikita Banda. From Charlottesville, Virginia, Vidya Ambati. Regeneron is pleased to sponsor the Translational Medical Science category by recognizing projects that aim to improve human health and longevity and transform novel discoveries into effective treatments and tools for clinical and public health use. Each of you has a role in shaping the future of innovation and Regeneron is proud to celebrate the next generation of science heroes. Congratulations, winners, and another thank you to Regeneron. Before we continue the program, I'd like to welcome another special guest to the ICEF stage. We are honored to be joined this evening by Dr. George Yankopoulos, co-founder, president, and chief scientific officer of Regeneron. As a leader in biotechnology, Regeneron invents life-transforming medicines for people in need and is on the front lines developing treatments for a broad range of serious conditions. To continue this legacy of scientific impact, Regeneron is deeply invested in fostering the next generation of STEM talent, ensuring as many talented kids as possible and their teachers have the resources necessary to pursue their passions for science. A member of the National Academy of Sciences, George, along with key members of his team, is the principal inventor of Regeneron's nine FDA-approved drugs and foundational technologies. He has been pivotal in creating the science-driven culture at Regeneron, earning the company widespread recognition, including repeatedly being named one of the most innovative companies in the world. So now, let's give a warm ice of welcome to Dr. George Yankopoulos. Dr. Yankopoulos will join us again shortly for the Grand Awards. But first, let's take a look at some highlights from your week here in Dallas. Welcome everyone to the 2023 Regeneron International Science and Engineering Fair! We have come together to celebrate the world's best and brightest young scientists and engineers. You don't have to. 
to be old or an adult to have found that solution and be an inventor. All of you have shown that you have the ability to contribute to scientific progress. is here, right? Because you've shown you've got passion, you've got curiosity, and you are very creative in STEM innovation. that despite the challenges that face us, with enough persistence, determination, and grit, nothing is impossible. Wow, what an unbelievable experience ISAF has been this year. Whoa. Now, on to the announcement of our first place awards, given to those individuals and teams that our judges deem best in each category. Each winning project will be awarded a prize of $5,000. In addition, a $1,000 grant will go to both the winner's school and their ISAF affiliated fair. Beginning with the animal sciences category, here's Michelle Glidden with Society for Science to present. The first place award winners in animal sciences are from Bangkok, Thailand, Panathorn Siri and Poon Chakul Tanun and Tipkorn Kayawombi. Congratulations to you all. Next, Behavioral and Social Sciences with Dr. Alicia Murray on behalf of the Society. The first place award winner in Behavioral and Social Sciences is From Plantation, Florida, Emma Marie Colarte Delago. Well done, Emma. Presented by Regeneron, it's the biochemistry category with Aaron Jones presenting. The first place award winner in biochemistry is from Shanghai, China, Harrison Hao Ti Yang Tong. Great job. Great job, Harrison. The Biomedical and Health Sciences category is next. 
Asha Pillai returns to represent Regeneron. The first place award winners in biomedical and health sciences are from Durham, North Carolina, George Chang. And from Jericho, New York, Natasha Coolby Watt. Congratulations to both of you. The category of biomedical engineering is up next, with Walter Voigt presenting on behalf of, of the Society. The first place award winners in biomedical engineering are from Hackensack, New Jersey, Mohammed Hossein Elden El Sheree Bini. And from Louisville, Kentucky, Rashad Rajan and Gopalan Irud Sashantoas Don Nidada. Great job, everyone. Now, the cellular and molecular biology category presented by Lola Yu on behalf of Regeneron. The first place award winner in cellular and molecular biology is from Austin, New York, Sarah Delia Jennings. Well done, Sarah. Next, the chemistry category and Jim Chambliss presenting on behalf of Beale Bank. The first place award winners in chemistry are from Al Hafaf, Saudi Arabia, Fizal Fakad Al Musig. And from Gaizin of Tech, Turkey, Sudnaz Gozen and Ekin Alzia Ale. Congratulations to each of you. For computational biology and bioinformatics, here's Adam Locke to present for Regeneron. The first place award winners in computational biology and bioinformatics are from Jericho, New York, Kevin Chu. And from Columbia, Missouri, Sathvik R. Cannon. Let's hear it for both our winners. The Earth and Environmental Sciences category is next, with Carly Lovern presenting for National Geographic. The first place award winners in Earth and Environmental Sciences are From Roanoke, Virginia, Francisca Borneff. 
and West Long, Pennsylvania, Paige Hinkle. Congratulations. Jonathan Childress presents the Embedded Systems category for Microsoft. The first place award winner in Embedded Systems is from Shanghai, China, Yixiong Yongpeng. Great job. The Energy, Sustainable Materials, and Design category is next. Prat Yushnag presents for Siemens Energy. The first place award winner in Energy, Sustainable Materials and Design is from Shanghai, China, Eugene Yijing Chang. Eugene couldn't be here this morning, but joins us online. Nice work, Eugene. The next category is Engineering Technology, Statics and Dynamics, presented by Jeskarat Sohi for Howmet Aerospace Foundation. The first place award winners in Engineering Technology, Statics and Dynamics are from Glendale, Wisconsin, Ethan Mark Zentner. And from Shanghai, China, Yu Yang Wang. Congratulations to both of you. The environmental engineering category is presented by Manuel Calderon for Jacobs. The first place award winners in environmental engineering are From Groton, Massachusetts, Ariane Mago. <laughs> and from Daman, Saudi Arabia, Mohammed Ahmed Alarbash. Let's hear it for our winners! For Howmet Aerospace Foundation, here's Sesh Tegmir Skandala to present the Material Science category. The first place award winner in Material Science is from Plantation, Florida, Calvin Thomas Matthew. Congratulations, Calvin. 
Welcome back, Rupesh Chakshi, as the Akamai Foundation presents the Mathematics Category. The first place award winner in Mathematics is from Plano, Texas, Meryl Zhang. Great job, Meryl. Robert H. Sievers presents the microbiology category on behalf of the Robert I. Shatner Foundation. The first place award winners in microbiology are from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Daniel Levin. And from Plano, Texas, Shreya Prakash Bhatt. Nice work, Daniel and Shreya. The next category is Physics and Astronomy, presented by Frederick Olness for the Richard F. Karras Charitable Trust II. The first place award winners in Physics and Astronomy are from Hillsboro, Oregon, Alexander Plekhanov. And from San Jose, California, Caitlin Wang. Well done, everyone. Here's Michelle Glidden presenting the Plant Sciences category for the Society for Science. The first place award winner in Plant Sciences is from Shanghai, China, Dong Tian Lu. Congratulations. Our next category is Robotics and Intelligent Machines. Amelia Averett presents on behalf of Regeneron. The first place award winners in Robotics and Intelligent Machines are from Sydney, Australia, Kai Turner. And from Acton, Massachusetts, Tamukin Arabaz. Congratulations to you both. In the system software category, Jonathan Childress presents for Microsoft. The first place award winner in system software is from Chandler, Arizona, Harshil Avlani.
Awesome job. Our final category is Translational Medical Science. On behalf of Regeneron, Pamela Kruger. The first place award winners in Translational Medical Science are from Littleton, Colorado, Adi Aditi Avinash. And from Plano, Texas, Alana Gabrielle Polyak. Congratulations to you and all of our first place winners. Congratulations to you all. Please remain on stage for the presentation of our experiential awards. The European Union Contest for Young Scientists Award is our first experiential presentation. The EU contest was created to promote the ideals of cooperation and information exchange among young scientists. The contest is the annual showcase featuring the best of European students' scientific achievement. The winning Regeneron ICEF finalists will receive an all-expense-paid trip to attend the competition, which, which will be held this September in Brussels, Belgium. Here to present the awards, please welcome manager of the EU Contest for Young Scientists, Karen Slavin. The winners of the European Union Contest for Young Scientists Award are in the category of Biomedical and Health Sciences from Durham, North Carolina, George Chang. And in the category of Embedded Systems from Shanghai, China, Yixheng Yongpeng. Congratulations, winners. Let's hear it for the winners of the European Union Contest for Young Scientists Award. Congratulations. Next is the Dudley R. Hirschbach SIYSS Award. This experiential award is multidisciplinary, inspiring youth to science and highlighting some of the most remarkable achievements by young scientists around the world. This award is named for Dr. Dudley Hirschbach, Harvard professor and 1986 Nobel laureate in chemistry, who is board chairman emeritus for Society for Science. The winning finalists will receive an all-expense-paid trip to attend the Stockholm International Youth Science Seminar, which includes attendance at the Nobel Prize ceremonies in Stockholm, Sweden. Here to present the award from the Swedish Federation of Young Scientists, please welcome board member Jonathan Jilg. The winners of the Dudley R. Hirschbach SIYSS Award are 
In the category of computational biology and bioinformatics, Jericho, New York, Kevin Chu. And in the category of microbiology, from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Daniel Levin. And in the category of physics and astronomy, from Swickley, Pennsylvania, James Terrell. Congratulations to the winners of the Dudley R. Hirschbach SIY SS Award. Now, on to the presentation of our top grand awards. First is the Craig R. Barrett Award for Innovation. Dr. Craig Barrett has been a champion of the International Science and Engineering Fair for many decades. Dr. Barrett is a leading advocate for improving education in the U.S. and around the world, and is a vocal advocate for the value that science and technology provide in raising social and economic standards globally. He currently serves on the Society's Board of Trustees and is the former chairman, president, and CEO of Intel, where he worked for over 40 years. Society for Science is humbled to have a champion in Dr. Barrett and to present this award in his honor. The Craig R. Barrett Award for Innovation is given to the finalist who best demonstrates an innovation in science, technology, engineering, and math. The winning finalists will receive a $10,000 scholarship to be applied to the educational institution of their choice. Here to present the awards, please welcome back President and CEO of Society for Science and Executive Publisher of Science News, Maya Ejmera. And the winner of the Craig R. Barrett Award for Innovation is In the category of engineering technology, statics, and dynamics from Shanghai, China, Yu Yang Wang. Congratulations. Let's hear it for our winner. Our next award is the H. Robert Horvitz Prize for Fundamental Research. Dr. Horvitz is the 2002 Nobel Prize winner in medicine or physiology. He served as chair of the Society for Science Board of Trustees from 2010 to 2019. Dr. Horvitz is a professor of biology at MIT, an investigator of the Howard Hughes Medical Institute, and a neurobiologist at Massachusetts General Hospital. We are pleased to present this award in recognition of his scientific excellence, as well as his service and contributions to Society for Science. The prize is awarded to the project that represents the best in fundamental research, furthers our understanding of science and or mathematics, and promotes the understanding of natural phenomena without clearly defined applications towards processes or products in mind. The winning finalists will receive a $10,000 scholarship to be applied towards post-secondary educational expenses. The H. Robert Horvitz Prize for Fundamental Research is awarded to, in the category of Biomedical Engineering from Louisville, Kentucky, Rishabh Rajan and Gopal Anirudh Saisantoshi Tadanada. Please give our winners a round of applause.
The Peggy Scripps Award for Science Communication is our next grand award presentation. Society for Science is proud to celebrate over 100 years of championing science that has named this award in honor of science journalist Peggy Scripps. Scripps served as a journalist in the Pacific Theater during World War II. Later, worked for the Washington Post and was a writer and editor at Science Newsletter for many years, a publication which you now know as Science News. Peggy Scripps is the granddaughter of the publishing magnate E.W. Scripps, who was co-founder of Society for Science and Science News. The Peggy Scripps Award for Science Communication is presented to the Regeneron ISA finalist that is best able to communicate their project to the public, explaining both the science and its potential impact on society. The $10,000 scholarship will be applied by its winner to the educational institution of their choice. And the winner of the Peggy Scripps Award for Science Communication is... In the category of Energy, Sustainable Materials, and Design, from Shanghai, China, Eugene Yichen Chen. Unfortunately, Eugene cannot be here today, but he is watching online, so let's please give him a round of applause. And congratulations, Eugene. The next honor is the Gordon E. Moore Award for Positive Outcomes for Future Generations, presented by the Gordon and Betty Moore Foundation. The foundation fosters path-breaking scientific discovery, as well as environmental conservation, improvements in patient care, and preservation of the special character of the San Francisco Bay Area. Through the work of its grantees, they support the creation of new and innovative solutions to some of humanity's most vexing challenges. Dr. Gordon Moore passed in March of this year at the age of 94. A brilliant scientist, business leader, and philanthropist, Gordon co-founded and led two pioneering technology enterprises, Fairchild Semiconductor and Intel. Let's take a moment to learn more about Dr. Moore. became a cornerstone principle of innovation and driving force for the exponential pace of technological progress in the modern world. Immortalized as Moore's Law, Gordon predicted that transistors' cost would decrease as the number on each silicon chip doubled annually. Gordon created Intel in 1968 with co-founder Robert Noyce. Over his career, he was Intel's president and CEO, chairman, and chairman emeritus. Under his leadership, Intel became the world's highest valued semiconductor chip maker. Among his many honors, Gordon received the National Medal of Technology and the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the highest civilian honor in the United States. Despite these accolades, Gordon always worked in the absence of any pretense or desire for recognition, driven instead by his exceptional curiosity, generosity, and unassuming commitment to hard work. During his lifetime, Gordon also dedicated his focus and energy to philanthropy, particularly in science, environmental conservation, and patient care improvements. This spirit lives on through the Gordon and Betty Moore Foundation. We are proud to carry on Dr. Gordon Moore's legacy of celebrating outstanding Regeneron ISA finalists. This award is presented to the project that best demonstrates the passion for discovery and invention that animated Gordon Moore, and the brilliance that enabled him to make such a lasting and positive difference for the world. The winner will receive a scholarship of $50,000. Here to present the award, please welcome Moore Inventor Fellow, Principal Researcher of the Sheldon Group, and Associate Professor at Texas A&M University, Dr. Matthew Sheldon. And now, it is my honor to announce the recipient of the Gordon E. Moore Award for Positive Outcomes for Future Generations. 
in the category of biomedical and health sciences from Jericho, New York, Natasha Colvywatt. Congratulations, Natasha, for your outstanding accomplishment. And now for the announcements of the 2023 Regeneron International Science and Engineering Fair Top Awards. Regeneron and Society for Science are proud to present the Regeneron Young Scientist Award and the George D. Yankopoulos Innovator Award. Regeneron believes that scientists are the true heroes of society. This, in this deeply held belief that drives their commitment to supporting future generations of scientists and engineers who will innovate solutions to the many existential threats we face today and will face tomorrow. Regeneron ISEF shines a bright light on the importance of scientific innovation and the need for our global society to collectively support a robust and diverse STEM talent pipeline. To help present these awards, welcome back Maya Ajmera and Dr. George Yankopoulos. First, we present the Regeneron Young Scientist Award. These outstanding finalists were selected for their commitment to innovation in tackling challenging scientific questions, using authentic research practices, and creating solutions to the problems of tomorrow. And the winners of the $50,000 Regeneron Young Scientist Award are in the category of animal sciences from Bangkok, Thailand, Hannah Thorne Siri and Poon Chakul Tang Moon and Tipakorn Kayawombi. And in the category of computational biology and bioinformatics from Columbia, Mont Missouri, Zafik R. Cannon. Congratulations to you all. And now, our final presentation. The George D. Yankopoulos Innovator Award, which recognizes the best of the best among the outstanding students from around the world who participate in Regeneron ISEF. This award is named in honor of Dr. George Yankopoulos, Regeneron's scientific founder, president, and chief scientific officer. Dr. Yankopoulos is committed to ensuring more young people are inspired to pursue and excel in STEM careers, and more importantly, to help improve the world in which we live. The winning project is selected on the basis of its outstanding and innovative research and the potential impact of the work in both the field of study and on the world at large. And the winner, of the $75,000 George D. Yankopoulos Innovator Award is in the category of physics and astronomy from San Jose, California, Caitlin Wang. Congratulations, Caitlin. It is my honor to present to you the top award winners of the 2023 Regeneron International Science and Engineering Fair.
Congratulations to all of you. It has been an honor to serve as your host this week. And again, thanks to each of our award sponsors and all of today's distinguished speakers. We are grateful for your, for your support of these extraordinary students. This concludes the Regeneron Isif Grand Awards Ceremony. We wish all of you the best of luck with your future endeavors.